So now I can start thinking about what the front suspension geometry is going to look like. And like usual, I lay this out in sketch form before I start designing any components. It saves a ton of time and I need to figure out what kind of wheel travel I'm going to get. So I'll mock up all the components as sketch lines and then check my geometry before I start designing the components. So all those lines represent the upper and lower control arm, the wheel, the spindle, and then that secondary set of lines represents the wheel as it's traveling up and down. So I can get a sense for droop and compression angle. And I ended up with 12 inches of travel on the front of this design, since this is a mid-travel sort of rally style car. And on this design, I decided to build in some caster angle into the spindle upright. That's something that was missing from my previous off-road designs. But since this car is designed to be going really fast on street and gravel conditions, I wanted to make sure the camber was correct. So I just copied the camber angle from a Porsche. And just by adjusting that spindle, I was able to get five degrees of camber. 